Hi, it's Ju Cook here. Welcome to my channel. Today's recipe is rice rolls dim sum. This particular plain rice roll often found in a high-end dim sum menu at a Chinese restaurant before pandemic. Nowadays, one can just pick up one tray of ready-made rice rolls at any Asian grocery market, especially in California. To prepare the rice roll is not difficult. It is finding the kitchen tools to prepare is the problem. Thank you, Dong Hung or Rice Valley to prepare this rice roll ready-made called Bánh Cuốn. Of course, Vietnamese, they also use the same rice roll for their own unique recipe. One tray of this Bánh Cuốn can serve for five people. In this recipe, I'm only using four rolls and I cut them into one inch in length. First, I'm going to prepare my sauce by mixing one tablespoon of hoisin sauce and one tablespoon of sriracha sauce. I'm also going to soak one dry scallop in about two tablespoons of water for a good one hour ahead of time. Dry scallop, when soaked, all the muscle strands separated. I'm using one large size of dry scallop. I'm only using 10 strands for my recipe. I will save the rest for another dish. 16 ounces of dry Japanese scallop costs about $88 US. Maybe this is why it's on the high-end menu at a certain Chinese restaurant. I have tasted the rice roll dim sum in Singapore, in Hong Kong, and in Malaysia. So I think this particular rice roll will help me to prepare the rice roll dim sum that I want. On a non-stick pan, heat is medium, add in one to two teaspoons of oil and then add in the rice rolls. Let it sear on one side for about one to two minutes and then flip it over to the other side and do the same thing. If you noticed, I added a tablespoon of water to soften the rice roll and then I closed the lid for five minutes. My rice rolls are nice and soft. I added in lemon juice, dry scallop, and mixed sauce of sriracha and hoisin sauce. Give it a few toss so the rice roll can pick up all the sauces. Look how beautiful the color turns out. You can garnish with green onion and cilantro using my micro cilantro. I hope you enjoy my recipe. Look how beautiful the color turns out. You can add rice seasoning on top and dip the rice roll into the sriracha and hoisin sauce. And that's it for my homemade dim sum. If you don't like to eat meat, this is a perfect dish. That's it for this recipe, dim sum. I hope you enjoy watching my video. Until then, take care. Bye now.